chemical equipment uh, mercury exists in several form which is elemental metallic mercury inorganic mercury compound and metal mercury and other organic compound it is used in all the thermometer uh, light bulb and some electrical switches there are mercury product where people consume it such as medicinal product and have discontinued and still being widely used in skin lightening soap and cream which is not safe to use happen naturally and can caused by human act also caused by human activity and mercury become a problem for the environment when if it released from the rock and end up in atmosphere and in water uh, in its inorganic form mercury occurs abundantly in the environment primarily as the mineral cinnabar and metal cinnabar and mercury can readily be combined with chlorine, sulfur and other elements and it can form when there are volcanoes eruption and from human activity uh, humans are responsible for much of the mercury that is released into the environment the burning of coal, oil and wood as fuel can cause mercury to become airborne as can burning waste that can contain mercury and also come from power plant Okay, next I will be explaining about the effects of mercury pollution. Mercury exists in various forms such as elemental, inorganic and organic. These forms of mercury differ in their degree of toxicity and their effects to humans, animals and the environment. Mercury is toxic to the human health, posing a particular threat to the development of child in utero and early in life. Elements elemental and metal mercury are toxic to the central and peripheral nervous system and neurological and behavioral disorders may be observed after the inhalation, ingestion or dermal exposure of different mercury compounds. System of subsequent exposures may include tremors, Somnia, memory loss, neuromuscular effects, headaches, and cognitive and motor dysfunction. An example of the effect of mercury poisoning on the human body is the infamous case of Minamata disease. In 1956, in the city of Minamata, Japan, an unidentified sickness has had plagued the inhabitants of the Great Town. The case that occurred at the time had baffled local health officers and the situation was reported as an epidemic of an unknown disease of the central nervous system. After the initial discovery of the disease, thorough investigations and various countermeasures were conducted. At the end, it was later found out that the situation was a direct effect of the release of metal mercury in the industrial wastewater from a local chemical factory that had mixed into the shellfish and fishes in the nearby bay and was then eaten by the local population giving them mercury poisoning. Symptoms that were shown by the victim include ataxia which is numbness in the hands and feet, general muscle weakness, loss of peripheral vision and damage to hearing and speech in extreme cases uh, leads to insanity, paralysis, coma and death following with, follow within weeks of the onset symptoms. A congenital form of the disease can also affect fetuses in the womb. As of March 2001, 
20 to 165 victims have been officially recognized as having Minamata disease. Boom. 1,784 of those victims had died because of the disease. Next is the ecological effect of mercury pollution. Mercury pollution that takes place in aquatic environment like the ocean will cause the inhabiting organisms to have high concentration of mercury in them. Mercury, once deposited in water, will be absorbed by certain microorganisms and will change into methyl mercury. Organisms like fishes will take in these compounds, whether through digestion or other means, and will gradually build up this highly toxic form of mercury inside them. As the time goes by, until they are completely contaminated with high amounts of them. The fishes would then be eaten by predators and consequently, those predators with, would be poisoned by the high mercury content of the fishes. Studies had been made on the effect of the consumption of mercury corrupted fish by small mammals and birds and it shows that these animals would exhibit physi physiological behavior, behavioral and reproductive deterioration and also subsequently death. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Amsa bin Azman from RIS 2543B. So, I wanna, so today I want to talk about solution to overcome this problem which is mercury pollution. So the first sector is source. First thing that we have to do is to prevent or limit the intentional use of mercury in process by choosing fish and seafood that are less mercury such as salmon, shrimp, cuttlefish and sardines. We also have to stop high quality mercury fish such as starfish, dolphin, swordfish and king mackerel from the Gulf of Mexico. So the next one is we have to look for fish alerts for certain streams or lakes when selecting fresh fish. So this thing already applied and been general bans that implemented in a very few countries. So the next one is prevent or limit mercury from industrial process such as chloralkali and metallurgy industry from being released directly to the environment and this thing also have been implemented in many current countries especially OECD countries so the third one is apply emission control technologies to limit emission of mercury from combustion of fossil fuels and processing of mineral materials this thing this solution also has been implemented in some OECD countries in pre-combustion coal cleaning we have to decreasing the amount of coal consumed by improve by improve energy efficiency terminated pipe interventions such as fire gas cleaning or swing to non-carbon fuel will effectively reduce mercury emission from utility and non-utility boilers in particular those from charcoal burning this solution also has been implemented in some countries such as OECD countries um, so in production sector we also have to prevent or limit products that contain mercury from being marketed nationally. This is uh, a general ban that implemented in a few countries. Bans or limit on specific products are more widespread such as batteries, lighting, clinical thermometers and etc. So the next one is home pages. Home pages should 
contact the household hazardous waste collection program. We have to ensure that uh, they have ensured that we recycle mercury containing items and bulk mercury. Some devices such as fluorescent and high intensity discharge like require mercury to operate. So this thing is implemented only in a few countries. So the next one is prevent or limit the use of already purchased mercury and mercury containing products. The only way the only way to avoid contamination of dietary mercury is to care about how much and what sort of seafood you eat. You can also sometimes consume larger type of fish. If you are pregnant, avoid fish uh, with high mercury level. And this thing also implemented in few countries. So, others is limit the allowable content of mercury present such as impurities in high volume materials and also limit the allowed contents of mercury in commercial foodstuffs particularly fish and provide guidance so the guidance is based on the same or other limit values regarding consumption of contaminated fish so this, this solution also has been implemented in many countries and especially in OECD countries. So what should government do? Uh, so the example of government do that already making uh, production of reducing the material pollution so if there is mercury waste in the sewage, mercury emission can be released during the burning process to reduce mercury release into the environment. In two, 2011, EPA published a rule limiting specific pollutant emissions including mercury from public incinerators that burn sewage. So which means government already making rules uh, for mercury release. So the next, the next uh, government doing that uh, they already reduce mercury pollution is they already make sure that uh, we recycle mercury containing products and bulk mercury such as households can contact can contact the local household hazardous waste collection program so which means government already uh, created the household hazardous waste collection program so that the mercury pollution being reduced thank you